Alright, welcome back guys. We're gonna go ahead and get another collective energy read and see what they have to say for us today. Call in our team and spirit, our monadic self, our higher self. Um, calling on the ancient wizards of the stars of the Akashas of the star teacher keepers, the star ancestors, the council of light, the benevolent beings of the highest realms only. The great cosmic mother to surrender to our holies, the grandmother moon, I surrender to your rhythmic pulse. And the Great Cosmic Father, surrendering to your protection. Grandfather, Son, I surrender to your support. I now take time to balance the wisdom of our own inner temples and allow us to see what we need to see on our path journey at this time. Amen. Alright. Okay, so... Thank you for being here. If you're new here, welcome in. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Go ahead and see what we have here from the Star Seed Oracle. Mm. You're not for everyone. Embrace your awareness. Face your true north. Okay. And Earth School. Life Lessons. Okay, so, in both of these cards, it's like she's taking a leap. Then we have the season Montaka. Okay, so in both of these, it's like, um, bringing unconsciousness to light, allowing yourself to take a leap of faith. See, in this one, it's just like going out on the edge, right? Going out on the edge and just being who you are. And in this one here, we have, um, how she's just diving in. She's diving into higher learning, to soul growth, to lessons. Um, allowing yourself to speak as the divine wants you to speak, to do as um, God calls you to do, as you feel is best for you and not anybody else to allow you to um, hinge that growth, right? It's like the initiation for our soul on this lifetime. Two, two, two on the clock there. It's like the deepening the experience, going within, diving within, and allowing us to see everything um, for the bigger picture, right? Embracing everything that comes with our true north, with our life's purpose, with our life's passions, life lessons. Um, however that looks for you. And then with the soul growth, it's like the higher learning. The higher learning... Allowing you to um, join in in whatever way that it looks right. And that's love. So, you're not for everyone. But, but it's like um, loving. Loving the in, inner child within you. Loving everything. Help, having the Lord helping you to send you compassion. To send you caring. To send you... Uh, clarity is what just came out. So clarity within and then relationships was underneath that. So clarity within relationships, um, clarity within direction. So <clears throat> call upon him, the powers of love to take over any union that's in our life, to take over any relationships in our life, um, to take over our learning, to take over any kind of matters that are unclear, clear, right? May any unholy, um, may you own your holy intuition, may you own your discernment, compassion, having compassion for yourself, knowing the direction that you need to go, allowing the Holy Spirit to come in and give you clarity with what directions that you should go to, with what um, promptings of your soul, of your body that you should be coming into, right? Where you should be allowing to come into fruition. We have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Okay, so... With that, it's like earth school, life lessons, soul growth, higher learning. Okay, so your, your soul is guiding you to get to, first of all, let go. To let go of any kind of grip that you've had on anything. And allow the ace of wands, allow that, um, the love to come in, the love to show. With the king of swords here, that's Aries, Lim Aries Libra, Gemini. But there could be messages coming in. Messages of knowledge, messages of wisdom, messages of a choice being made after somebody's been juggling. Or, um, this is you. It's like 
your soul is coming in with number 19, um, the sun, giving you clarity in your directions, giving you, um, allowing you to understand ace of wands, four of wands. Okay, so with that, it's like the life lesson, soul growth. Okay, so how can you turn stuff around in your life knowing that you're not for everybody? You don't have to be for everyone, no matter how it looks. No matter how it seems, um, just dance into the beat of your own drum almost and see how she's just kind of like surrendering, allowing things to go up <clears throat> as it's meant to and allow spirit to give that clarity, that confirmation that um, when anything's unclear, it's like doing it to God to allow them to stop anything that you're doing wrong if you're going in the right direction and continue to usher you in in the right direction <clears throat> when uh when you are going in the right direction right and having the strength to do so having the strength to do so after any kind of feeling of abandonment or grief or loss um and then you have the key holder so um god is unlocking the doors unlocking anything that was once close for you that was seemed to be marked off or um, needed to be rebuilt they're building decks and landscaping on the tv so it's like doing the landscape of your heart doing the landscape of your life right allowing that to um i want to say be modernized but um be brought to um be brought to a more caring and understanding source right and what is that source that's the divine source that's the source of self however you've been holding your ground or standing your ground in this situation it's like god is going to refurbish that situation and allow you to move forward with the chariot with the balanced energy number seven right and oops i was gonna pull that i didn't and look it still came out <laughs> okay so um definitely um abundance where if in any ways if you have been um message okay first of all there's going to be messages and see the feathers are your ancestors ancestors bringing messages of abundance of um things in your life uh the seeds coming in the seeds that you planted coming into fruition and see he's just standing there looking over him it's like when you decide to release is when it's going to come right and um ancestors bringing you the direction bringing the clarity the directions of where you need to go and how they're going to come in and bring this to you with that clarifying the ace of wands it's like a fiery passionate new beginning this could be in a relationship since you started that relationship and love. this could be a new person or with the death rebirth it could be a rebirth of an old a re-emergence of an old situation an old love an old um an old person that was caused you at one point to be in your head to um not think that with the with the okay so with the eight of wands and the ace it's like a, a one 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 energy, a, a new fresh start, a new fresh beginning, a, a turning, right? And then we have mm, the temperance and the lovers. So more balance. And so not only do we have the balance here with the light and dark, light and dark on both sides. This is actually, um, uh, this could be with a person right or it could actually be a choice a choice between two a choice between um getting uh, letting go of anything that's deceptive anything that's holding you back anything that's not allowing you to move forward and having the courage and strength to make the choice and look at that the two of cups on the bottom of the text so six two seven um moving towards what it is that the divine is calling you. It's like the divine is holding out your the hand, right? The hand of the divine to you to allow you to see that. And then we have three aces, not just one ace, but three aces. The three, in three ways, all three ways, a brand new beginning emotionally, 
um, <clears throat> stability wise, whether that is in pentacles or just your foundational being, uh, refurbishing anything that is within the foundation of your life and or job and relationship. It's like all coming into fruition. And then with the owl here, it's like the knowledge, the knowledge <clears throat> of how to do this and where your soul wants to take you and having the strength to keep going after people have tried to um, hold you back from that or make you seem less than or make it seem like you're not worthy of it. What? Right? Okay, right? Yeah. Ten of Cups. So it's what makes you happy in the choices that you're making. The choices that you're making um, to allow yourself to be happy. Right? What do you need to do to allow your soul to feel happy? To feel like it's in communion. To feel that intimate, that intimacy, that soul intimacy, the sensuality. You know, where are you going to go to get that? And it's not even about going anywhere. It's literally about having compassion for yourself. It's about um, having compassion for yourself, for others, for your journey, right? 11, 11 on the clock there. Um, it's like, every, like that yeah, interdependence, independence, all mixed in one. Allowing the direction of your soul to come forth and just be laughing like he is, right? Understanding that life isn't just about being solitary, but it's also about how you celebrate your togetherness. And how you live in that present moment, not allowing things on from four o'clock to, um, right? It's like, like he said, the moment of truth, how you're going to allow all those soul lessons that you have to come forth <clears throat> and give you the guidance and the love that you need as you're going out into the universe doing the same thing. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I love you. I hope you have a great day. If you haven't been told today, you're beautiful. Bye.